Is that like how you are when you get up in the morning? Yes. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Yes. <laughs> Where did that come <laughs> from ever anyway? Who said that? Yeah, I don't like... know. Bright eyes. It's Hunt for Wellness episode number 149. In the Hunt for Wellness podcast, we talk about mind, body, and spirit because that's what people are made of. They're made of a body, a mind, and a spirit. And we want each of those to be fully functioning, fully nurtured, to live a healthy, full, living your best life. Hello, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. Bright eyes. Mm -hmm. Is that like how you are when you get up in the morning? Yes. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> Where did that come from Whoever anyway? said that? Yeah, I don't like, know. And like, sounds what are, like a squirrel. Yeah. So the bright eyes, ones that are wide open and And the bushy like that, tail. For those of you who are watching, <laughs> you can't see that on the audio podcast. But anyway, right. so right. Uh, eyes, yeah, uh, a well, lot of people deal with eyes. You know, eyes are important. They are. And the eyes have it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're starting to do some jokes now. Wow, this is going to be fun. I see that you're doing some eye jokes. Yeah. Okay. What would you do without your eyes? Uh, you couldn't see much. No. It's really crazy. Uh, I don't know how, like, the people that don't have eyesight that are crossing the street, you know, with the little cane and they're trying to... How in the world do they, they have a lot of trust they that do. some crazy person is going to drive through the intersection. Right. You know. Well, we live trusting a lot of things we do. in our life, but we take our vision for granted. I think most of the time because yeah, it's sure. just there. Absolutely. But what can happen as we age and everybody does age is that your vision can go downhill people can have eye problems Mm -hmm. and so um i just want to encourage people today especially that you can help keep your vision help support your eyes and vision um so that you can see you know i remember it brings back memories when i drove to work one day and i put my sunglasses on i'm driving to work and i'm looking down at the speedometer and it's all blurry. It's like it happened overnight. I'm going, what is going on with that? Why can't I, why are the numbers on my dashboard so blurry? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, progress from there to, well, maybe I'll just get those little cheaters. But then the cheaters are kind of hard because then you can't see the far distance with those. Finally, I got glasses Mm -hmm. and got the sunglasses built into them. So we're all good now, but that was weird. Just kind of happens. And actually it is gradual. But Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have these jumps of vision change that is possible. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Do you know what that means? Uh, Nope. Actually, I do. If you take your time and you prevent things, it it will be much better later when it will be a lot heavier. So (laughs) you just do a little bit to prevent problems and that saves you so much time energy like a pound an ounce is so small compared to a pound right when you are already not well or your vision isn't well then you're like what can i do what do i where do i have to go what do i have to spend what you know all the things to try to get it back yeah so how do we take care of our eyes then okay so the eyeball is really or the eyes are a complex sensory organ. It's not just the eyes. Hmm. So the eyes go connect to the optic nerve in the back of the yeah. brain or the back of the brain. Yeah, back of the brain, but the back of the eye. It's connected to the optic nerve. And we actually see in the brain. Yeah. It's what comes through the eyeball and focused in the back of the eye, but It's in the brain and they have done, I I looked this up recently, they have done a whole eyeball transplant. 
Ooh. Normally they'll do like a lens transplant or a cornea transplant and you can look on a diagram, just look it up, Google it, you know, what is the anatomy of an eyeball to see a little bit more. I didn't really want to go through that in this um, podcast, but the guy cannot see out of that eye Wow! because it's the brain that sees. Yeah. And so they did this whole transplant connecting it to the nerve, but it's not working for him as of yet. Wow. Now, you know, I don't know if this is true of, uh, I know it's true of certain cameras, but like, does the eyeball see like upside down and then the brain converts it to right side up or backwards or reverse or something like that? Have you heard that before? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Your brain does it. Your and brain does the processing. Isn't that cool? It's very cool. Yeah. It's very cool. So sometimes the problem isn't your eyeball itself, but sometimes it is, mm -hmm. you know, for different different issues. It can be um, the brain, too, can cause the problems in the vision. Wow. So, um, so it's really good just to take care of your eyes, and it's pretty easy and simple to yeah. take care of your eyes. So... For one, never put essential oils in your eyes. Yeah, I was going to think. We've talked about that before, and it's like, okay, if there's essential oils that are going to help your eyes, you can't put them in your eyes. No, and don't put them in your ears either. Yeah, okay. Avoid <laughs> okay. those two things. <laughs> yes. So have you ever had like your eyes are a little irritated or mm -hmm. tired or red or itchy? Yeah. So what you can do is... Um, take put an oil on your finger and if you're new to oils you should probably dilute it with a little carrier oil like we have a v6 carrier oil mm -hmm. um, and then just put that in your hand take a little finger and then draw wide circles around your eyes oh with the essential oil kind of like a protection finger. zone huh yeah kind of like the outline of sunglasses okay. you know how sunglasses are bigger than normal For glasses sure. typically so um also, if your nose is bugging you, you can put it around your nose. Or if your ears are bugging you, you can put it, you know, circles around your ears too. And I have experienced those irritations resolve quickly and the redness resolve quickly on those simple irritations or tired eyes, mm -hmm. you know. And that is also something that can be done on a regular basis, like morning and evening uh, computer eyes, you know how that yes. you can get fatigued. Yes, for sure. Yes, I do know that. <laughs> Looking at yeah. the computer. So here's my uh, recommendation for computer eyes, um, which is probably most of us. But Stop looking at the computer? Yeah. Don't look at your computer. No. <laughs> um, do get the blue light glasses yeah. to help with the blue light damage. And... Um, Use you can use frankincense, lavender, and cypress. Mm. So cool. just one at a time. Just put one drop in your hand and then on your finger, and just like I explained, wide circles around the eyes. Lavender, frankincense, and cypress. And um, lavender is also relaxing. Mm. Got it. Um, frankincense just does everything. Cypress is really good for blood flow. So it's going to support your eyes and your your vision. Nice. You know? Awesome. And all those structures, it, it just gets into your into your body when you rub it on. Yeah. You know what I think is cool? This is a little off, off the track a bit, but you know when you go to sleep at night, you close your eyes. And it must be like right. to protect them, I suppose, but it also yeah. to, it probably helps rest them too, right? Yes. So there is, I want to just touch on I, i'm gonna get back to okay that. you get back to that sorry i, I you know i'm just anticipating all these you're questions amazing. you're just ahead of everything <laughs> aren't you no <laughs> so the other thing i want to talk about is ningxia red yes so ningxia red has this zeaxanthine and lutein lutein in it they're carotenoid pigments that are found in the human eye that protect it from damage wow. caused by blue light. It's just what's in our eyes, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's especially concentrated in the retina or macula. So to help keep the retina healthy and the macula healthy, you want to have a good amount of zeaxanthine and lutein. So what you're saying is Ningxia Red will help support your eyes. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's it another was. use. Yeah. 
And that um, zeaxanthin absorbs up to 90% of blue light. Cool. And blue light can be damaging to the eyes. It causes oxidative stress to the eyes. And oxidative stress, um, like breaks down cells, damages cells, proteins, DNA, mm -hmm. which can contribute to the aging of the eyes. Now, we, yes, we all age, but you can make it not go as fast. You yeah. know, some people look younger and mm -hmm. act younger and feel younger than other people of the same age. That's why these products are called Young Living. <laughs> right. right? <laughs> As a friend says, you want to do Young Living, not Assisted Living. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay. Yes. Good so we're trying to that. prevent uh, the problems yes. as much as possible. Keep, keep <clears throat> Young Living is a lot less expensive than Assisted Living, too. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So it's um, very, what were we talking about before, proactive and uh, preventative? Yeah. Yeah. An ounce of Ningxia is worth a pound of <laughs> assisted living. I don't know. Yes. So that is important. That is an important thing. And then they also, Young Living, besides Ningxia Red, which has these anthony and lutein mm -hmm. in it naturally in the um, wolfberry that's grown in China mm -hmm. <laughs> and other good things, it's closely related to vitamin A. Um, so what it also has, Young Living has, is Illuminize, which is a supplement. Ah, that's a supplement. That's right. Yeah. Which has lutein and zeaxanthin in it to help protect, reduce eye strain, mm -hmm. protect eyes from damaging blue light, and maintain your skin, mm -hmm. vibrant skin. I wonder if Lutefisk has lutein in it. You know, I don't really know. I don't know. think so. Okay. We're, we can't promote Lutefisk on this program. <laughs> <laughs> Some people really like that, though. Yeah. So... I know, I would say my vision has, um, I, I used to have some night driving mm -hmm. issues that was difficult and um, I drink Ningxia Red every day and have for several years. Yes. I don't deal with that yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's great. That you know? is great. Yeah. It, and it supports vision. Um, Ningxia Illumini supports vision in low light settings. Yeah, that's nice And too. can reduce eye fatigue and eye strain. Um, so it's very super helpful. If there's any concern about the eyes or you want to protect your eyes, mm -hmm. I would do Ningxia and Illuminize. Right. That um, sounds like a great combination. Yeah. And it's important to have the eyeball getting enough blood. Yeah. That is an important piece of it too. Yeah. And so you want to keep your blood pressure low you know, low normal mm -hmm. and your cardiovascular system in good shape with exercise and eating healthy and taking good quality supplements. Like we talked about Ningxia Red is one of mm -hmm. them. Cardiogize is our heart supplement. And there's Olive Essentials, mm. which is um, a healthy heart with olive oil. It's got hydroxy tyrosine and premium essential oils. That hydroxy tyrosol is an important antioxidant mm. to support overall health. They yeah. also have rosemary vitality essential oil to keep your healthy your immune system in shape. And there's also parsley vitality in that to promote internal cleansing. You know, for those of you trying to furiously take notes, uh, hopefully you're just listening or watching because you can go over to huntforwellness.com episode number 149 and we'll have them all listed out for there. Yeah. For you there. And, um, Nice big font, easy to see. <laughs> so uh, go over there, check that out, huntforwellness.com. Yes. So Ningxia Red also has other benefits besides supporting your, your vision, your eye health. Also increases energy levels significantly mm -hmm. while, while reducing physical limitations. Provides energy support without caffeine. Supports whole body health and wellness. Improves sleep patterns. And reduces stress. Yes. So, so, so good. Yeah, it is. And it helps you work when you work out and all those other things too. Yeah. But now there is some a thing called natural vision improvement, mm. which I want to make you aware of. Yes. It, it was first discovered that we know of by Dr. Bates. 
And his desire was to find the root cause of vision conditions rather than just treat the symptoms. Mm Mm-hmm. Which, isn't that a good idea? Yeah, Let's find the absolutely. root, get to the root. And he'd observed many patients with refractive errors like nearsightedness or farsightedness that seemed to spontaneously change for the better and sometimes to the point of the complete reversal of symptoms. Wow. So. Tell me more. Yeah. So he did research and experimentation, even his own eyesight, which they said was stone hard, unchangeable. He improved his own vision to the point of not needing glasses. Wow. And so the, the Bates method became misunderstood by many people. And today it's often associated with doing eye exercises, but that is actually not what Bates taught. Oh. He recommended use of relaxed vision, natural vision habits all day long. So to really fully study and understand the Bates method, you need to read his original book and the original magazines. Hmm. And that was when? Back in the 20s? 1920. Wow. Called Perfect Sight Without Glasses. And then he had his Better Eyesight magazines, 1921 to 1930. Um, Wow. That's and cool. you can accomplish a lot by studying the books, but it's not easy to become aware of eye strain or poor vision habits. So it's helpful to have a teacher. And there are natural vision teachers. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to put that website. Yeah. Go over to huntforwellness.com, episode number 149. We'll put the website for the natural eye practitioners yes i think it's naturalvisionteachers.org okay but um we'll we'll make sure we got the right we'll link one that. for you we will do that great and so um it's it's powerful to mm-hmm. improve your vision uh by relaxing your eyes and mm-hmm. i've been working on this too you have um and, and you've been wearing your glasses a lot less too right which is kind of nice it is kind of nice and also just improving not being not needing to wear sunglasses yeah. outside because when you're wearing sunglasses you're if you need to you're kind of stressed hmm. and it's sh- showing that there is some stress in the eyes wow. in the body so it's it's amazing what can be done and how your vision can be supported naturally absolutely well, good. Any last thoughts before we wrap this one up? Well, take good care of your eyes because you only get one pair. One pair. That's two. That's right. Awesome. Well, hey, this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines providing great water for your great wellness. Find out more at waterdistillers.com. And I see <laughs> with my two eyes that it's time for us to wrap it up. Yes. And that we're just going to invite you back to check out our next episode of Hunt for Wellness.